good morning to all today we are going to learn the basic problems which are very important as per the exam point of view of z transform in the last lecture we have learned what is z transform definition equation inverse z transform then we have seen the relation between discrete time fourier transform and z transform so today we are going to learn some four six to seven problems which are important okay on z transform without a region of convergence okay so the part of region of convergence we are going to take it in the next upcoming lectures okay so before finding out the region of convergence we are going to find out the z transform of x of n okay so we will start so in the first problem first problem is given as x of n equal to u of n okay simple unit step function discrete time okay we have to find out the z transform so we can see that this is u of n okay so it's basically unit step signal it has value unit value for every sample okay up to n so now first step is that we have to write down the formula of z transform so x of z equals to summation of n equals to minus infinity to plus infinity then x of n and then z to the power minus n so just put down the values we have to put the values of x of n and we have to see that our limit changes or not so in the x of n we can say that there is unit step function u of n so limit will change okay as there is only u of n single value the limit will change from 0 to infinity lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be infinity because the unit step function starts from 0 ends to infinity okay so summation will be n equal to 0 to n equal to infinity okay into 1 for x u of n okay because for, for the value from 0 to infinity u of n is 1 so write down only 1 and z to the power minus n as it is this is as it is now in the next step we are going to take uh, the sign of this n inside because we want as we are already getting this summation part which is 0 to infinity we just need the power to be positive so that the output will be 1 upon 1 minus a so this is a this is a to the power n so we already know that summation of n equals to 0 to infinity a to the power n is equals to 1 upon 1 minus a so answer will be simple it will be 1 upon 1 minus z inverse okay that's it this is the z transform so in the next upcoming lectures we are going to find out the region of convergence region of convergence basically means it is a term which states that which gives the representation of convergence of a signal means the finite ability of the system you will let i will let you know in the next lectures okay second problem second problem is important one x of n equals to minus u of minus cn minus 1 okay so there is a basic time shifting so we need to see how we are going to draw this okay this much spectrum okay we have to keep this as it is we no need to simplify the minus term we just need to find out this and we have to find out the z transform of this term okay so I, as we know that unit step function u of n is i have shown here simple function then we, u of n minus 1 okay just it's a basically basically a right handed sequence okay n minus 1 means we have to shift the signal 
to 1 okay so this will be your u of n minus 1 okay so it will start from 1 2 3 and 4 okay it will not in the 0 in the earlier one the signal will start from 0 to 3 okay and then in u of n minus 1 we need to shift in the right hand side by 1 so signal will start from 1 and will and it will end to 4 okay so now our question is what u minus u of minus uh, n minus 1 we have already seen u of n minus 1 so now what is u of minus n minus 1 okay so as it is indicating this minus it indicates it's a left hand sequence okay left hand sequence so just we have to mirror okay we have already seen in the convolution part okay graphical method wherever there is a time shift okay sign change in the u of n it we have to take the mirror okay so this is the mirror of this is u of n minus u of minus n minus 1 okay we have just taken our sequence in the left hand okay so signal will start from minus 1 and will it will end to minus 4 up to infinity this is minus infinity this is plus infinity so also as there is introduction of u of n step signal with time shifted step signal we have to change the summation values okay initial and final so this is about the waveform now we will start first step we have to write down the formula of z transform i have written here next step we have to put the values okay so as there is u of n okay this term we have to put this term okay we have to take minus as it is outside and just we have to put the values for this okay we have to change the summation okay limits of summation summation will be from as in you can see in this sequence our signal will start signal starts from minus one okay and it will end to minus infinity okay so lower limit will be minus infinity upper limit will be minus one okay lower limit will be minus infinity upper limit will be minus one so now in the next step we have to write down the changed limits okay so lower limit will be n equal to minus infinity because it signal will end to here only okay and signal will start from minus one okay upper limit and minus as it is as i told okay because here is minus we have kept as it is okay because if we have taken this minus into account then what will happen this sequence will be seen somewhere here okay in the negative half second so that would be more what we called as complicated to solve okay that is the only reason why we have taken minus outside okay so now minus outside then z to the power minus n as it is okay u of this u of minus n minus 1 will be 1 for this submission okay so no need, no need to multiply it so in the next step we have already seen in the discrete type Fourier transform examples okay we have seen that we can exchange the limits okay without changing the sign okay limits changed without sign change okay this is the advantage of summation we cannot change the limits in integration but we can change the limit in summation okay without changing the sign so now just exchange the upper limit and lower limit so the lower limit will be minus 1 upper limit will be minus infinity 
and minus z to the power n as it is so but we need this okay for the solution so this has lower limit 0 upper limit infinity both positive okay power is also positive so here our both the limits are negative power is also negative okay so just manipulate the this equation okay manipulate means just edit it okay by put n equals to minus n okay so when we put n equals to minus n this will become positive this will become positive lower limit this upper limit will become positive and then this power will also become positive okay so in the next step we can see that when we put n equals to minus n so n equal to minus n means minus n equal to minus 1 will be n equals to 1 and n minus n equal to minus infinity which is n equals to infinity okay so, so summation of n equals to 1 to infinity okay then minus as it is and z to the power n because we put n equals to minus n so now the this is not satisfied yet okay lower limit has n equals to 1 we need n equal to 0 so for that we have to again manipulate this equation okay after manipulating so how to manipulate already we have seen in the discrete time Fourier transform numericals okay so what we need to do just put n minus 1 equals to m okay so what will happen n equals to m plus 1 so this is basically n minus 1 equal to 0 okay so just put it equals to m so what will be put n equals to n minus 1 okay then m so n will be m plus 1 okay just it will positive become positive okay so, so the summation will be changed now okay so as I already said put n minus 1 equals to m this is the m okay m and then infinity okay so this will become 0 as it is and this z will have power m plus 1 okay because of this this will become m plus 1 it already is high okay so in the next step the summation is with respect to m okay so you have to we can take the terms which are not with m okay so for example now this power there are two different powers okay m and 1 so what will be z to the power m plus z to the power 1 okay so just take this z to the power 1 outside as i taken here okay then summate with respect to m so just summit with respect to z to the power m so you can see it will be m equals to 0 to infinity z to the power m okay so now we can see there is a similar okay kind of sequence formed we can write the solution directly minus z as it is so this the summation of m equals to 0 to infinity z to the power m will be nothing but 1 upon 1 minus z okay so just multiply this inside it will be minus z upon 1 minus z okay so now this is not the perfect solution yet okay so we can divide numerator and denominator by z divide this by z and this whole by z so what will be numerator will be minus z upon z denominator will be 1 upon z here 1 upon z minus z upon z okay so equals to this will be this will be minus 1 
and this is we can write this as 1 upon z as it is z upon z is 1 minus 1 okay so write down minus 1 upon 1 upon z means nothing but when we take this into the numerator so it will become z inverse okay z inverse minus 1 so x of z equals to 1 upon 1 minus z inverse okay just i have take i have multiplied the minus okay in this term so it will become 1 upon 1 minus z inverse okay this is the answer for x of z for this minus of u in bracket minus n minus n okay we just need to manipulate the equations to find out the right solution okay so in the next problem it is a simple problem okay del of n impulse signal okay you know that impulse signal means x of n equals to del of n we already know that this del of n will be only for zero i have shown here okay this del of n is available only for zero value so whenever there is zero there is value will be one okay impulse function present at n equals to zero so now first step we have to write the formula okay of z transform in the second step we have to put the values okay x of n is written as del of n z to the power minus n as it is okay so now here no need to take any further summation okay so as it is only present at zero we know that it is not present between minus infinity to plus infinity it is present only at zero so z to the power n sorry z to the power minus n is only at n equals to zero okay this is n it is equals to zero so del of del of n only present at n equals to zero so when we put n equals to zero here it will be z to the power minus zero which is one only okay this is simple answer so now next problem is there is a delay shift okay time shifting in del of n by minus k okay minus k means what we have to shift our del of n in the left sorry in the right side okay we can see that this is del of n minus k okay del of n is shifted to the right side by 1 by k so for k del of n will be 1 okay so write down the formula of z transform then put the value of x of n so now we know that our del of n minus k is available only for the value k okay for k it is 1 otherwise it is 0 so just no need to simplify okay summit we just need to put z to the power minus 1 minus n okay at n equals to k okay because this is only present at k so now after putting n equals to k z to the power minus k that's it okay this is the solution next problem is x of n equals to a to the power a or alpha into u of n okay we know that u of n is the sequence okay symbol unit step discrete time signal okay now we have to find out the z transform first of all we have to write down the formula of z transform then we have to put the value of x of n okay so x of n what is given as x of n alpha to the power n u of n just write down so as it is as there is u of n in the sequence present there will be change in the limits of the summation or integration so limits will change from minus infinity to plus infinity will change to 0 to infinity the lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be infinity okay 
and this alpha to the power n remains as it is u of n will be 1 okay because for this sequence for this summation it will be 1 okay and then z to the power minus n as it is okay so now the power is quite common to both the terms alpha and z so just this is not that common but if we take z inverse then power will be plus n so take z to the power minus 1 for this and alpha okay and then this will be alpha into z inverse to the power n okay so now we have already have the fundamental equation of summation which is summation of n equals to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n which is 1 upon 1 minus a so just write down this is a okay so 1 upon 1 minus this a as it is we can write it here okay so this is the solution simple example okay this is the solution for alpha to the power n u of n now in the next step in the next problem there is a difference just minus has been introduced in the problem so x of n is minus alpha to the power n u of minus n minus 1 okay so we already know that u of minus n minus 1 sequence okay is a left side sequence left handed sequence okay this is the sequence okay the waveform will start from 0 to minus infinity now first step we have to write down the formula of z transform in the next step we have to designate the values of x of n put the values of x of n from the question okay so x of n chi x of n is minus alpha to the power n u of n minus 1 okay so now as there is u of minus n minus 1 limits of summation will change lower limit will be minus 1 okay upper limit will be minus infinity because signal will start from minus 1 and end to minus infinity so the next step we can see that the summations are changed okay sorry uh, lower will be minus infinity okay and upper will be minus 1 okay this is lower this is upper okay sorry, sorry sorry this is lower okay if it is if the signal will be here in the right sequence then upper will be infinity so upper will be minus 1 because minus 1 is greater than in minus infinity so lower level is minus infinity upper level is minus 1 then alpha minus this minus as it is okay and alpha to the power n as it is this will become 1 for this sequence okay for this summation for this summation this will be 1 so 1 as it is no need to write down the 1 okay minus alpha to the power n z of minus c n okay so now again the power okay the powers are quite similar okay you just need to take this z inverse so that it will become plus n okay so now alpha and z inverse to the power capital to the power small n okay so alpha and z inverse common to the power n okay so we need to put n equals to minus n because 
there is minus here okay and minus here also so as we done in the earlier previous problem same procedure put n equals to minus n so lower limit will be positive it will be plus 1 take the minus outside okay then upper limit will be also positive plus infinity then alpha z inverse to the power minus n okay as it is so now we need to so now this will this will become minus n okay because it is plus already here so now in the next step as our power is negative and lower limit is uh, not zero we have to again manipulate the equation so just put n minus 1 okay this is n minus 1 equals to 0 so put n minus 1 equals to m and then m and so this n will be m plus 1 okay so the lower limit will be n minus 1 means m equals to 0 okay so m equals to 0 then upper limit will be as it is infinity then alpha z inverse to the power minus okay put n equals to m plus 1 this in this power okay so it will be minus m plus 1 okay so now we have to substitute the or multiply both the powers okay with this coefficient so after multiplying what will happen this will remain as it is because power is 1 okay so I have taken an advanced step okay to reduce number of iterations okay minus as it is outside so this when multiplied with this one is taken already outside because there is no m and that is why because we have summation from m to infinity okay so this will be alpha to z inverse power minus 1 as it is okay outside so summation m equals to 0 to infinity we have to take the summation of the like terms okay the like term will be alpha z inverse to the power minus m okay second one second of substitution okay now this as it is outside summation of m equals to 0 to infinity okay this is so we have got the fundamental equation which is this one 1 upon 1 minus a is the solution for that so this is a this one is a this is n so summation is so answer will be 1 so as this is outside we have to multiply it so it will become 1 into this okay so alpha power minus 1 z as it is 1 upon 1 minus this is a this one is a okay 1 upon 1 minus a that's it okay so now this is not a perfect solution yet okay so we have to multiply by alpha multiply both numerator and denominator by alpha into z to the power minus 1 so this will be multiplied by alpha z inverse and this will be multiplied by alpha z inverse okay so what will happen this will be 1 as it is minus outside this is 1 okay upon because this and this will get cancelled this and this will get cancelled okay so it will remain 1 so in the denominator so denominator will become alpha z inverse minus if you multiply it this term with this term it will become 1 okay same in the numerator this will become 1 okay so just 
multiply this negative sign in this it will become 1 upon 1 minus alpha to the power z inverse that's it this is the solution for minus alpha to the power n u of minus 1 minus n minus 1 okay so last problem of today's lecture x of n equals to 7 in bracket 1 upon 3 to the power n u of n minus 6 in bracket 1 upon 2 to the power n u of n okay there are two sequences we have to find out the z transform of both the sequences okay so now x of z x of z first of all write down the formula of z transform then substitute the values okay of x of n so summation of n equals to because x of n is there u of n is there the summation will become 0 to infinity so summation will be n equals to 0 to infinity okay take a common then x of n as it is okay no need to write down this because it is 1 and z to the power minus n as it is okay now we have to take the like terms and take constant outside so 7 will be outside the summation so 7 summation of n equal to 0 to infinity okay summation of this and this is going to multiply it okay so it will be 1 upon 3 into z in to the power minus 1 bracket to the power raised to n okay minus 6 outside then summation of n equals to 0 to infinity 1 upon 2 into z inverse okay to the power n okay i have taken an advanced step here also because both the powers are n just sign difference so i have taken z inverse okay and then the power will be n and the power of both this one and this one will become plus n so we can take this common okay so 1 upon 3 z inverse common power n okay both the terms now we have already the fundamental equation ready we just need to find the solution which is 1 upon 1 minus a this is a okay so I'll just write down 7 as it is because it is outside means 7 upon 1 minus a okay this one is a okay your a term minus 6 upon 1 upon 1 minus this one is a okay as it is okay this is the solution okay so we have taken seven examples today and in the next upcoming lectures we are going to find out the region of convergence means the region where the signal becomes finite okay so till then stay home stay safe okay take care all of you okay have a nice day